How did the main villain in Creed 3 become an internet sensation? All my life, been grinding all my life. Sacrifice, hustle pay the price. Damian Anderson's fighting style resembles legendary boxer Archie Moore. You can actually learn a lot about boxing from studying his technique. But what's really cool is that his fighting style is a reflection of his personality and life struggles. If you want to understand why he uses different moves and tactics, you gotta dig into his past. Right now, we will break down the personality and technique of Dame and compare them with Archie Moore. So, are you brave enough to see the world through Damien's eyes? All my life, all the my Psychology life. of Diamond Dame Damien Anderson is a classic representative of the lower class of society. Unfortunately, life in such conditions imposes a false perception of reality on young men where the acquisition of power and control is the main indicator of success. And if they achieve such success, they think they will feel happiness, which, of course, does not happen. This is why Damien took up boxing from an early age and participated in tournaments where his younger friend Adonis placed bets on him. They used their strength and cunning to make money, which ultimately raised their social status. But very often, playing with power ends badly for young men. Due to their lack of experience and emotional impulsivity, as happened in this case. After a successful fight and winning money from the bet, the young men stopped to buy something to eat. As they were leaving the store, Adonis ran into a former caretaker who had treated them cruelly. Of course, Feeling a sense of injustice and wanting to impress his older friend Damien, who had just won a boxing match, Adonis Creed decides to seek revenge for everything the caretaker did to him. Naturally, this turned into an even bigger problem, as the caretaker's friends rushed to protect him. This chain reaction prompted Damien to defend his friend by bringing a weapon to even the odds. Of course, the police couldn't ignore this incident, and Damien ended up in prison. Adonis, scared, fled, and would blame himself for years to come. In one evening, Adonis and Damien simply demonstrated the hierarchical stupidity that young men fall for. The desire to show power and control deprived them of power and control. One was physically imprisoned, and the other mentally imprisoned, by guilt and self-hatred, but afraid to admit it. To this day, most young men fall into this trap instead of trying to understand themselves and overcome their mental traumas. They mimic supposedly successful adults who do the same, but won't admit that this lifestyle doesn't bring happiness, just feeds their ego. When the ego euphoria fades, depression and uncertainty return. Even when surrounded by the most beautiful girls, expensive cars, and loads of money, the fear of appearing weak prevents them from opening up, and they're left pretending they're cool and happy. However, as it's known, hitting a like button on this video can make anyone happy, regardless of age and social status. However, 18 years later, Damien is released from prison, where all his negative qualities have become even stronger, fueled by the fact that he had essentially run out of time to make his dream of becoming a world champion a reality. This is even more apparent when he meets his old friends. Creed was lucky. He was surrounded by the right people who helped him deal with his inner demons and learn to control his rage. At the same time, Anderson is simply made of these negative qualities, all multiplied by unrealized potential. The end result is a character that is extremely relatable to all of us. He's a poor guy who, since birth, found himself in the wrong environment, with the wrong values. And as the years went by, he realized that because of the stupid mistakes of his youth, he wasn't able to realize his potential. He suffers from it, drowning in bitterness and regret, and jealous of the success of an old friend, 
who essentially took his place and did so by not being afraid to be weak. All of these qualities have shaped Damian Anderson's boxing style. He's a very aggressive, manipulative, toxic person who is willing to charge forward like a rhinoceros, regardless of the consequences, to achieve his goal. Each of these qualities is reflected in his boxing style. Character in Boxing Style Let's start with the young Damien, who immediately demonstrates his audacity and cunning. The movie shows us only one of his fights, where his task is to win by knockout in the first round, so that Adonis's bet plays out. We can already see the traits of his character in his choice, and in the fight. He cleverly decides to bet on himself through Adonis, and boldly believes that he can win in the first round. In the fight itself, Damien demonstrates his cunning by setting up his opponent for a knockout blow, after which he boldly knocks him out. However, after years in prison, his character evolves for the worse, as does his fighting style, which is noticeable in his first sparring. Damien is an extremely reasonable person, and he understands his position and physical condition. Compared to other top boxers in his weight class, he also understands that time is running out for him. He needs to push forward no matter what, so he has a stance like a rhinoceros. He's ready to overcome all obstacles in his path. Sometimes he even charges forward like a rhino before attacking. You can try the same tactic with the subscription button right now and knock it out like a rhino. He knows that his actions have emotionally affected his opponent, so he continues to push and provoke them with insults. He equals his chances in sparring with a technical fighter who becomes aggressive with feeling a sense of injustice. He just wants to knock Dame's head off without thinking about technique. Anderson is used to being in this state, so he is the favorite in this kind of battlefield of anger. This is what happened in the fight. Using his cunning, manipulation, and toxicity, he equalized his chances against the champion. He constantly made him doubt his masculinity and courage, justifying his rule-breaking actions by showing that he was a true man who would do anything to win. Machiavellian thinking is now extremely popular among young men. It doesn't matter how you achieve your goal as long as you do. This kind of thinking leads to constant self-justification in one's mind, thinking it's not me, it's just the way life is. This is reflected in Dame's victory, where in his mind he did everything he could and won the title. But in objective reality, even his friend felt sorry for the opponent. Adonis couldn't be happy for him because of how Dame won. A distorted sense of reality continued to haunt Anderson after winning the title. He's like any poor man who suddenly became rich and famous. He thinks that this will continue forever, because of which he overestimates his capabilities. He went out to fight Creed using the same bag of tricks, trying to cheat and hit weak points, manipulate by trying to put pressure on Adonis's masculinity. It's toxic to remember the past and try to induce guilt. And at the end, like a rhinoceros, run headlong trying to cut it down. However, despite all the character traits that are reflected in the technique, Damien really has many techniques that can be used in a fight. After all, the prototype for this character was the legendary old mongoose, Archie Moore. Echoes of which are noticeable not only in skill, but also in biography. Damien in real life. Archie Moore, also known as the old mongoose, was born on December 13, 1913 in Bensonhurst, New York. He grew up in Brooklyn and started boxing in his youth. 
Archie spent part of his childhood in an orphanage in San Marcos, Texas. He ended up there after his father died and his mother could not take care of him and his siblings. At the boarding school, Moore began to engage in sports, including boxing, and showed talent in this area. Here, we already see similarities with Damien, a poor family, the orphanage, and a prison. Despite his sporting successes, Moore also found himself embroiled in the underworld. In 1927, he was arrested for robbery and sent to a juvenile prison. There, he continued to box in prison league. After his release, Moore returned to boxing and began his professional career. But his connections to the underworld sometimes influenced his life. Archie had a hard time getting a title fight because he wasn't a popular boxer and was already of age. No one wanted to promote an older boxer. Nothing reminiscent? Dame Anderson has essentially the same fate, if you exclude his friendship with Adonis Creed. Despite these difficulties, Archie Moore became one of the best boxers of all time and left his mark on the history of the sport. Perhaps the brightest stretch of his career was at the very end. After all, Archie managed to move up to the heavyweight and fought with top fighters at the age of 50. Similarly, Damien managed to take the title as an older fighter, shocking the world. Instead of Adonis Creed, in Archie Moore's life was Muhammad Ali, whom Moore trained and tried to instill discipline in him. However, young Ali did not like Moore's approach to training, which will be reflected in Muhammad's boxing style and record. After retiring, Ali will say that years later he regrets not staying with Moore. After all, everything he wanted to teach him would come in handy in the defeats. Damien's situation is a little different. He and Adonis are almost the same age. But Anderson really trained him and taught many techniques, which he said more than once in the movie. Their biography is really similar, but what is more striking is the technical and strategic similarities in the ring. Technique and Tactics If you have questions, you can go to my personal Instagram. Link in the description. Dame, like Archie Moore, is a boxer who primarily relies on strategy and creates his game plan based on the weaknesses of the opponent. You'll say, isn't that what I do? And the answer is no. Mike Tyson at his peak always did the same thing. The rivals knew about it, but could not do anything about it. But Dame, like Archie Moore, understood that he was either older than the opponent or physically inferior to them in some aspects. Because of that, even his defense has two modes. He has a defense for attack, where he exposes a horizontal block and moves in front in the style of Moore and George Foreman. And when he goes into the blind defense, he uses a shoulder roll. Again, Moore had an analog of such a defense, but the obvious reference is Mayweather's defensive stance. When he's not defending, he has a classic old-school stance, the essence of which is to quickly enter the attacking defensive stance, to pressure the opponent to the ropes or enter the clinch, where he uses dirty boxing. Tricks like knee strikes, head thrusts, and elbow strikes, reminiscent of boxing legend Bernard Hopkins, who also has a similar life to Damien. Bernard only started boxing in prison when he was already 20 years old, because of which he was inferior to many rivals in strength and speed. However, he made up for it with tactics, dirty tricks, and trash talk, which Diamond Dame also does. It's hard to single out Anderson's trademark punch. He relies so heavily on tactics that his trademark technique is not a punch, but a defensive action. He not only has different defensive stances, but also skillfully parries blows. He parries straight simply by exposing his hand, and hooks are shoulder rolls. The only blow that can be distinguished is a counter string after a defensive action. 
The rest of the attackers are mostly combinations of hooks on the head and body. The character of Damian Anderson from Creed 3 can make you think about yourself in terms of personal qualities and motivate you to not be like him, as well as improve your boxing skills, especially in the defensive aspect. The same Muhammad Ali, after he ended his career, said that he had to obey Archie Moore and study defensive stances. So he would have eaten fewer shots, and some fights he would have been able to win, like the first Frazier fight. So listen to Ali's advice and learn the defensive actions of Dame or Archie Moore.